Hey everyone, thank you for checking out the CV180 V2 full face snorkel mask. Today we're going to talk about three important things. The first one being sizing, then we'll go into use, and lastly we'll go into parts. With that being said, let's get started. So we're starting with sizing because it's going to be the most important factor when picking your C-View mask. The C-View 180 V2 comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. As you'll notice, we've kept the panoramic view the same on all three sizes. The only difference is we've raised the silicone in the chin area of the smaller two sizes. Picking the right size mask is going to help reduce leaking, fogging, and give you a better overall experience while using the mask. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna take a measuring tape and I'm gonna measure from the bridge of his nose to the base of his chin. And instead of going over his nose, I'm gonna go right to the side of his nose so it can get a straight line measurement. Okay, based on my measurement, I'm a large. But I'm gonna show you what it looks like if I wear the wrong size. All right, so Ian has the medium on right now. If we take a look, you can see that the nose silicone piece is below the bridge where we measured on his face, which means it's probably a little too small for him. Now Ian has the large on. As you can see, the nose silicone piece is resting right on the bridge of his nose, which is gonna provide the best experience while you're snorkeling. The proper use of this mask is for surface snorkeling. If you like to free dive while you snorkel, we recommend a dive mask and a snorkel setup. So the reason we don't recommend free diving in a full face snorkel mask is because you are unable to pinch your nose to equalize. Another reason we don't recommend free diving is due to the mask volume on the mask. As you dive deeper, the more pressure you're going to feel. We also don't recommend the mask being used for lap swimming or overexertion. If you find yourself in a space where you need to swim long distance or swim fast, we do recommend that you take the mask off to help with airflow. Okay, leading into the parts of the mask, we're going to talk about the dry top feature. The dry top is a safety feature that in the event that you're snorkeling around and a wave comes over the tube, the ball will slide up and prevent any water from entering into the mask. This Flowtech design has two airflow chambers, the top chamber being for inhalation, while the bottom is exhalation. The snorkel also has its own silicone piece we want to make sure that's pushed all the way down for proper sealing when we attach the snorkel to the mask. To properly attach the snorkel, you put it on until you hear a snap. Once you hear that snap, then you know it's properly sealed. To remove the snorkel, there's a button on the side that you'll press and then pull up like so. Along with the two Flowtech chambers, the full face mask comes with four one-way valves. This allows air to come through the mask, but prevents the exhale from going into the eye chamber. In the event that water happens to get inside the chamber, we have this one-way drainage system that allows water to escape as you surface. Now that you've seen how the Flowtech system works, just a friendly reminder, this is a full-face snorkel mask. So while wearing the gear, Breathing isn't going to feel the same as when you have a traditional mask and snorkel set or if you're not wearing the mask at all. So we do recommend getting used to breathing with the mask on and go ahead and test the product in your neighborhood pool and get used to using it in water. Thank you for watching the video on the Seaview 180 V2 mask. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let us know if you have any more questions. Until then, see you out there.